Text 15. Translation. Lord Krishna blew his coon shell called Panchajanya. Arjuna blew his, the Devadatta. And Bhim, the voracious eater and performer of Herculean tasks, blew his terrific coon shell called Pondra. Lord Krishna is referred to as Rishi Kesa in this verse because he is the owner of all senses. The living entities are part and parcel of him and therefore the senses of the living entities are also part and parcel of his senses. The impersonalists cannot account for the senses of the living entities and therefore they are always anxious to describe all living entities as senseless or impersonal. The Lord situated in the hearts of all living entities directs their senses but he directs in terms of surrender of the living entities and in case of a pure devotee he directly controls the senses. Here on the battlefield of Kurukshetra the Lord directly controls the transcendental senses of Arjuna and thus his particular name is Rishikesa. The Lord has different names according to his different activities. For example his name is Madhusudana, Madhusudana because he killed the demon of the name Madhu. His name is Govinda because he gives pleasure to the cows and to the senses. His name is Vasudeva because he appeared as the son of Vasudeva. His name is Deviki Nandan because he accepted Deviki as his mother. His name is Yashoda Nandan because he awarded his childhood pastimes to Yashoda in Vrindavan. His name is Parth Sarthi because he worked as charioteer to his friend Arjuna. Similarly, his name is Rishi Kesa because he gave direction to Arjuna on the battle of Kurukshetra. Arjuna is referred to as Dhananjay in this verse because he helped his elder brother in fetching wealth when it was required by the king to make expenditures for different sacrifices. Similarly, Bhim is known as Vrupdara because he could eat as voraciously as he could perform Herculean tasks such as killing the demon Hidimba. So the particular types of coon shell blown by the different personalities on the side of the Pandavas beginning with the lords were all very encouraging to the fighting soldiers. On the other side there were no such credits nor the presence of Lord Krishna the supreme director nor that of the goddess of fortune. So they were predestined to lose the battle and that was the message announced by the sounds of the Kunshel.